Bridging the gap between blindness and fashion. everybody on YouTube today. Um, I have for you a favourites video and it is a favourites for the month of February. Um, I've not done one of these before which I do apologise for but I am getting into more of the trending videos now so hopefully this will be the first of a concession of them, I do hope. Um, so most of my products that I have here today are beauty related, I don't have much in the way of other random things that some people might have in their videos um, but all the same I hope you like it I have been using a lot of products through the month of January and February that I have enjoyed using that I've bought for reviews and, and that I've kept on using so they have thus formed a part of my favourites for this month so I'm going to crack on now with my favourites video because otherwise it's going to take a complete millennium so I will start off with this product and this is probably one of the ones I've been using the most and it's by Lush and it's the Grass Shower Gel um, and it was when I did my review for Lush um, about a month and a half ago for my blog um, and I remember, remember buying it and I thought I wanted this product because of the way it smelt um, because it's just amazing oh my god it smells like grass um, you know that fresh cut grass when you walk out on a spring morning and you're just like Ooh, this is such so fresh and just uplifting um, that's the reason I bought it it's really great shower gel it lathers up really well it makes you smell really nice and the smell just carries on getting stronger as um, more you use it one of those products that's got real longevity to it um, that is the grass shower gel it is amazing I love it I really love it well done Lush you have um, made me so happy with that product you can't believe how much um, again another Lush product for you is so this is the Hair Doctor, this. and basically the Hair Doctor is a treatment for your hair that you put on before you shampoo and condition it. Um, and then you can actually see how much I've used up, there's hardly anything left, it's like, uh, it's almost gone. Um, but you don't buy it for the smell, you buy it for what it does to your hair, because it actually, it smells like Vicks or something that you'd put on your chest if you've got um, like a cold or something. It, it's not the best smelling product from Lush, but what it does to your hair, it's amazing. It really does repair your hair. And it's one of those products you need if you probably use heat on it a lot, if you are out in a lot of elements, if you go swimming, or if you color process your hair quite a lot. It's one of these products that really does take care of your hair and help it to renew and just to really feel a lot more healthier. I would highly recommend this product amongst any other hair product, product I've ever tried in my life. It's amazing. Um, gutted it's almost run out, so I'm going to have to go and pop into Lush and get a new one because I just can't be without this now. It's an essential part of my hair care routine and I use it every time I wash my hair. Um, so this is absolutely brilliant. Uh, moving on, this is more skincare based. Um, the first one I have to show you here is this Neil's Yard um, and it's the Orange and Honey Facial Scrub. Um, now this product I did buy because of the smell. I went into Neil's Yard and I just was like, oh, I'll have a look around to see what they got. And I, I smelled it and I was like, I'm in love with this product. It smells like mornings. It smells, you know that smell when there's orange juice and fresh porridge and oats and stuff. It's a really nice product to wake up and use in the morning. It's just like, oh God, start a new day. Um, the product itself, I think the, the, the beads are quite grainy and there's quite a lot of them. They're not rough to, to the touch, they, they are well rounded so they don't scratch your skin. Um, but they give your skin a really good scrub so you have a nice fresh face and the smell of it just makes you more awake and chirpy. So I love this product, it's absolutely amazing. Moving on, this is a little bit more of a one that I've been using for longer um, and it's more toiletry based um, and it's this uh, antiperspirant deodorant from Superdrug. Um, I know you might think I'm an absolute nutcase for having a product that is a regular toiletry, like a deodorant in my favourites video, but the reason I wanted to get a new deodorant was because I've recently turned completely cruelty free. Every product that I have is cruelty free and I was like I need to get a new deodorant because other ones that I tried that were cruelty free just did not work. I needed something really strong because I walk a lot. 
Um, and I was like, you know what, I need to try and find something that's better. So I popped into Superdrug and um, I was having a look round. And the way to know if something's cruelty free is to look on the back and it will have the Leaping Bunny logo on it. And all Superdrug's own brand products are cruelty free. And I saw this um, and I thought antiperspirant, that should um, be the best one for me. Got it at home, I tried it. It's amazing, it does not make you sweat, it's really long lasting, it actually lives up to what it said it's going to do, it's 24 hour um, antiperspirant um, and I love it, it's really a great deodorant, I would highly recommend it, um, it's just one of the best ones I've personally used, not only that it's really cheap and you can also get a lot of deals and discounts at Superdrug including student discount and a lot of offers, so it's perfect. On, another Superdrug product that I have to show you is this. Now this is the um, Be Naked Light Hydrating Foundation from Superdrug and it's their own range um, in their B makeup. And the reason I like it so much is because again it is cruelty free but also I wanted to try out a new foundation and my shade if you want to know it is the 020 Rose Gold um, and I wanted to try it because I like the look of it and it just seemed like a good foundation. I tried it really really nice. Um, I will show you a little swatch on my hand of how it comes out. See it's really shimmery, really light, um, really fresh looking. It's great for the spring. It really makes your skin look so rejuvenated and youthful. Um, but not only that, it's really good coverage but it doesn't make you spotty and you don't feel really greasy when you put it on. It's just the best foundation I've ever used entirely. It's brilliant. Um, so glad I bought it. Accessibility wise, I dropped this about three times on my laminate flooring. It did not break once. Um, if that's not a good bang for your buck, I don't know what is. So, um, let's keep this rolling. Something else I got was from Rituals and I've been trying this for a while um, and it's the Hanan Body Mud um, and it's got purifying Chinese clay and refreshing eucalyptus in it um, and I really liked it, it's um, really purifying um, and I've been trying before this one, I've been trying the one that had, I think it was peppermint in it um, and it was really really nice and I thought oh I don't know if I would have liked this one as much um, but you know what actually it's really really good um i put it on i think on my body and left it on there for 10 minutes and just sat in the shower and was like you know just chilling just contemplating life um and it's amazing it's got little gritty particles in it which really scrubs your skin uh, but it really detoxifies the skin and it's really one of those products you want to use all over your body when you feel a little bit like Ugh. when you feel really disgusting and you just want something to really cleanse your skin. Another point to add to this is that it is cruelty free, but also the eucalyptus in it makes it really great if you've got cold because it really helps with congestion. Because I had a bit of a, you know, congested nose and I thought, oh, I wonder if this will help. It does, it's really good. Along with the steam, it makes for a really great shower experience. So rituals, you've done it again for me, I love you. Um, now a couple of products that are makeup based, um, the first one which is what I got for Christmas and I hadn't got around to using yet was the limited edition M&S Own Range palette and it's the Smoky Eyes one and basically it's got two colours that you can use, so two um, looks and the first one is the grey smoky eye palette and then the other is a more of a talky based colour um, so it's got three colours in each to make up the, the look and it's got a step by step guide really easy to tell the difference between which one you're using um, the packaging which is purple with a woodland theme it's really beautiful um, again it is cruelty free hence the leaping bunny logo i love it it's really easy to use great for holidays alas i don't have this one anymore because it was a christmas one but i'm sure they've got one similar to it and that they will be relaunching these again in christmas i've really enjoyed using it so last of the beauty products is this and it's probably one of the most recent additions to my collection. I had seen a feature on telly about this and it was the Glow Topshop Illuminator um, and it looked really good so I popped into um, Topshop after London Fashion Weekend and I checked it out. I got the Glow uh, Polished one which is like a moonstone kind of colour. Um, I'll show you kind of what it looks like, I get a tiny bit. You only need a small amount otherwise it won't really uh, blend into your skin um, just blend that and it's kind of a nice little shimmery effect really nice for the spring it's good to have on the cupid's bow of your lips or on the um, eye area to kind of give yourself a little bit of a 
um, highlighter there um, and it's a brilliant product. Moving on to something a little bit different which is an app and the app that I've been using and really enjoying a lot this month is Netflix. Oh my god, Netflix is so good. Um, I was talked into it finally by a friend at college um, and the reason I really like the look of it was because it um, was very cheap, £5.99 per month um, and when I actually started to use it and was subscribed to it I noticed that they had a lot of my favourite TV shows like the Tudors um, and they had a lot of like historical programmes and um, nature programmes I sound so lame, don't I? Um, and, but they, not only that, it's got a lot of really good um, programmes and films and stuff like um, War Horse and uh, didn't know they had Amelie on there um, and like Hunger Games, The Hobbit and a lot of the Avenger films which I was like YES! I love Avengers um, and not only that, you can actually hook it up to your TiVo box and your Apple TV. Not that I've got an Apple TV as yet, but I'm hoping to get one soon. But just to put a thought on that one, really. The final thing I have to show to you guys today is this book, and it's called The Vintage Teacup Club, and it's by an author called Vanessa Green. Um, and I believe this is her first book that she's ever wrote, and it's amazing. It's such a good read, and it follows the lives of three women who all are, lead very different lives, both um, romantically, professional, and professionally. Um, but they all have an affinity with each other, and all start to make a very quick friendship when they discover this vintage tea set at a boot fair in the town that they live and um, pretty soon after that they are very close friends and they decide to go and club together to try and get as many teacups as they can um, for the main character Jenny's wedding but also for um, the character called uh, Maggie and uh, now Maggie is also planning a wedding and she has a very high demanding um, customer shall we say um, so she also has to get teacups, but um, Alison has to get them just because she's a crafter and she likes making things and she just wanted to use them for candles. But it's just really nice to see how these characters develop, how they um, become friends, um, how they've got different lifestyles um, and their partners and things like that. And it's just a really light-hearted, really warming story that you can really get close to the characters um, and really feel a, a sense of um, friendship with them just as much as they feel with each other. Um, very vintage-esque, really funny, um, you just gotta love this story. Um, I particularly love it because the character in it called Alison reminds me of my mum, she's very much like her, very um, artistic, um, has a bit of a nightmare dog um, who just barks all the time. So it's a really great read, I've really loved reading it and I really am excited to read her next one that she's got coming out. So um, yay for this book, you've got to try it if you haven't already. And to know it's really accessible because it's also available in audiobook and Kindle. So if you need to... So that concludes my February favourites video. I hope you all enjoyed it and got some inspiration about things that you might like to try. Um, thank you so much for watching and uh, listening to this video and have a great week and I'll see you next time. Bye! I had it in the book version. Yeah, I know. And it would have been easier to see it. Well, I'll do it like that then I can do it again. <laughs> no, we're never going to get done. Sorry. Dave. Oh, no, no. Unity, come here, come here. Look, cut. Lights, camera, action. I'm going to have to edit all this out. So I'm going to crack on for you to... Oh, oh. Now the dog's oh, going. Yeah. The dog's going more. Go out, Unity. Oh. No, go in Nana. Go in Nana. Go in Nana. Right there. Leader, bloody hell, why is she itching? She's doing it just to spoil my moment.